Welcome back everybody, this week on the channel we're taking a look at a recent acquisition from Dromgoals of Houston, Texas. This is the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR in Prussian Blue. So, as is the case with most Twisbys, this one comes in a cardboard outer box with an inner plastic display box nestled in foam padding. Underneath the top foam pad, we have a grease guide for when you do a full cleaning of the pen, and with the picture showing exactly where the grease should be applied. Under that, we have the filling and maintenance guide for the 580 ALR, and I must admit that Twisby does a pretty good job with their instructions, and they have a pseudo IKEA feel to them. On second thought, this is a definitive IKEA feel. The pictographs kind of feel spot on, and I mean, the instructions are complete with a parts list of what's inside the box. But let's be honest, we're not here for parts lists or how to guides, we're here for the 580. And once I finish negotiations with this foam, we'll take a closer look. Now, I do like how Twisby does the inner packaging. True, it lacks the classic looks of a sailor or pilot inner box with it being clear acrylic, and it continues the trend of stamping even more information about the pen on the back. I'm pretty sure a lot of this information is a repeat of what's included in the papers, but it does at least provide an unobstructed view of the pen, and from the top it has a pretty elegant feel in that sense. Especially with these friction fit brackets holding the pen in place, and that's definitely a step up from plastic bands. And with the pen out of the box, you can definitely see that the Prussian blue is a good look against a demonstrator body. And I like how Twisby did their red logo on the cap as well. It adds good contrast. And obviously your pen won't come inked, but I wanted to have Papier Plume number 13 in here for when I showed the pen. So this pen is coming with a number five Yovo nib. The section has good taper and concave to it, with the aluminum band separating the section from the nib. It also features a horizontal knurling on the Prussian blue portion, which could be hit or miss depending on how sensitive you are to textured grip sections. And speaking of the grip, the 580 is a good sized pen for medium sized hands and it feels well weighted. I think the massive 2 mil of capacity helps with that aspect. Now let's take a look at the writing sample with this nib. When I did the Papier Plume review a few weeks ago, I said that this ink felt like a spot on match for this pen. A couple of weeks later, I still feel the same way. This is a good pairing. Ink aside, this is a pretty good flowing medium nib. The ink is medium wet and well lubricated, so putting a wetter ink in here is definitely going to open up this pen even more. Maybe it's the Japanese pen kick that I've been on lately, but this medium does feel broad because of how much ink is getting on the paper. And with it being a smaller steel nib, we're not getting as much give on the nib as we've seen recently on the channel, but that's not a bad thing. Now back to the nib, this is one smooth nib out of the box. While I don't show it here, this pen has been used on Rhodia, Tomoe, and Bank Paper, and every time it is a smooth experience with no complaints. And the balance that we touched on earlier contributes to that as it keeps this pen from being too heavy towards the nib. I also didn't see any hard starting, skipping, or other flow anomalies in the weeks I've been using it. I mean, the nib has been consistent upside down, stepping the pen down from a medium to a fine, and doing so without digging into the paper or providing a suboptimal experience. This actually came in handy signing a receipt last week, so now I've got a better understanding of why we do these flip tests. And now that we've had a good look at the pen, let's bring it all back around. Starting with the price, I ended up paying $60 for the Twisby 580. This is a really good price considering what we get. The pen comes with a huge ink capacity, the piston filling system is well built, and doesn't have any of the sloppiness that can be found on some other pens. The pen is extremely well balanced, and the nib was super smooth out of the box. Also, the fact that we get a wrench and grease to maintain the piston system is a nice touch. If I had to pick something that I don't like, it would have to be something rather major for me at least. I love this color, and I think that Twisby did a great job picking Prussian Blue for the ALR, but that knurling almost makes this pen unusable for me. While I'm not a fan of metal sections as a whole, they put enough concave in this one that the grip would have felt great without the texturing. As it is, I feel like I'm putting my thumb on sandpaper, and that's just not a good feeling. 
Now, of course, your results may vary widely on this, but it was noticeable enough for me that I had to mention it here. So take that into account if you're looking at this pen new or on the used market. But that's it for this video. Ink up that subscribe button, become a patron for early releases and extras, follow the channel on Twitter and Instagram, don't forget to penable your friends, and remember, don't drink the ink.